A British woman has been found guilty of murdering her two children in a hotel room in Spain. Leanne Smith had claimed she was psychiatric, psychiatrically disturbed, but a jury in Girona decided that she was criminally responsible for smothering her young son and daughter. Thousands of London's bus drivers are on strike today in a dispute about extra pay during the Olympic Games. 17 bus companies are affected. Three others won a court injunction to prevent a walkout. Talks between the companies and the Unite Union failed yesterday. Our industry correspondent, John Moylan, vulnerable households struggling to pay their water bills could be charged less by water companies. Minister say... Well, I promise we're not making this next bit up. But a rare hat-shaped cloud, yes, has been filmed near Mount Fuji after a strong typhoon swept through Japan. Let's have a look. I'm going to show you the front page of the Daily Mail. Great picture here of the uh, Duke of Edinburgh. Time now is 19 minutes past six. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Our main stories this morning, the trial earlier this week on Breakfast. Doctors told us that an increasing number of people are super obese, with people so overweight they struggle even to leave their own homes. In England alone, obesity costs the NHS more than £5 billion a year. So experts aren't just warning about a future health crisis, but a financial one as well. Jenny Hill went to Rotherham, once labelled the UK's fat capital, to see what's being done to tackle the problem. We've lost the sound with uh, Richard, Richard Galp in there. Let's move on to the other stories today. And a British woman has been found guilty of murdering her two children in a hotel room in Spain. Leanne Smith had claimed she was psychiatric. Thousands of London's bus drivers are on strike today in a dispute about extra pay during the Olympic Games. 17 bus companies are affected. Three others won a court injunction to prevent a walkout. Talks between the companies and the Unite Union failed yesterday. Let's talk to our industry correspondent, John Moylan, who's at... Thank you. The Labour leader, Ed Miliband, is to admit that his party got it wrong on immigration when it was in power. In a speech this morning, he'll say that too many workers were allowed into the UK after the European Union expanded to include countries from Eastern Europe. He'll also promise to introduce measures to stop British people being locked out of some jobs. Well, our political correspondent, Chris Mastart, Bivouac, B-I-V, O-U-A, O-U-A-C? Travel and weather, where you are. The funerals of six children who died in a house fire in Derby will take place this morning. Their parents, who are in custody charged with their murders, will not be attending. Anthony Bartram is... Players, ...and they're just legendary players, perhaps one of the best in the world at the moment, the way he scored that header. And what's scary is the joint top scorer now, you were 2012 with three, but he's hit the post four times I was going to say, it took him a few matches. goes, didn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. but... Time Thank you. Will you shoot its head off? Yes. Holes. Yeah. Steve Jobs, for example, which you have played previously. I did, yeah. And there is a movie going to be made on a bigger scale. I would, 